Hey everybody, Lindsay Smith here with a very special business tip. I'm here with Eric Dennis and Eric was sharing a story with me in an office how he recently was competing for an expired listing and um, ended up coming out on top. But it was more impressive with the story was that you used some of the past ninja tools uh, or some of the ninja tools that you had to win the listing. Tell us a little about what happened and the tools that you used to make the client see the light. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I, I uh, showed them the scattergram and then the pond. Okay. And the pond, um, I never used last year just because it was a different market. Right. And, um, but this year I'm, I'm using all the time. And the, the listing expired and I was going against some uh, heavy hitters, so I wanted to bring something, something good to the, to the listing appointment. And the pond is basically comparing it to Calgary's market. Awesome. So, um, so you guys can see on the screen here and stuff, so it's literally a picture of a pond. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And, and most people are like, why are you showing me a pond? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you explain it that it's very similar to, to the Calgary market, um, as property comes in, you're, in, you're in flow, so to speak. And if you're right pricing everything else, you go under contract right away and you flow out of the, out of the pond. Right. Um, but if you're not, then as time goes on, you kind of sink down into the s slower water. The current's not picking you up anymore, i.e. showings and you just kind of keep dropping. Awesome, and, and they call it the, the stagnant mass. Yeah, yeah. And, and obviously nobody, you can just even, that, that visual, no one wants to be the stagnant mass. Yeah. And you said your clients took to that right away. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because they expired, they went through the X amount of days being on the market, showings, one offer that they thought was low at the time, but after hindsight, they probably should have taken it. Right. Um, but they just didn't know. Awesome, so and yeah. another, another tool you used was the scattergram. Yeah. Um, Let's throw that one up on the screen here and tell us a little about what the, what the different markings on the scattergram mean and, and how it also helps help your clients see the, um, see the light in terms of their pricing. Okay. Well, first of all, you, you use the comparables that are relevant, right? So if it's uh, back on green space, you pull up all the ones with green space. Right. Um, it, and then it, on the bottom axis, it puts the square footage and then on the vertical axis, puts the price. Right. Um, green is active, red is expired, and then blue is the solds. And then it, creates a kind of average line of, of where the solds are. Um, and then you can basically literally say, your house is, you ask them, what's the square footage of your house? They'll tell you. You say, draw a straight line. And you ask them, where do you think you should be? Um, it's not us saying you need to be here. It's them discovering where they need to be. One of the things that's compelling about this one is that you can see that the majority of the solds are actually on the line or below the line. Yeah. And there's there's one that is you know sort of a an outlier that's you know show home fully finished. Yep. Um, furnished even is written in there. Yeah. So yep. so it's a reason why it might fetch a little bit higher of a value. Yeah. But we can see some of the uh, obviously the expired that some of these unfinished walkouts here that are in some trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, absolutely. And and that's the nice thing you you can add these things to them so you can put your own personal comments in there and as you can see I put your place yeah so they they look at it and they, they get where they are interesting and it's such yeah. a visual tool you don't need to look at square footage and all these different MLS listings and the data yeah. and trying to process that and you know we always say anytime you can avoid um, don't ever tell somebody something that you can show them and these pricing tools um, make it so clear and give such a clear visual for your clients to use yeah yeah Awesome. Um, still bring the, the sheets with you. Yeah. Be, because if you're dealing with an engineer or something, he wants to get confused, let him. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Well, Eric, thank you so much for uh, taking us through. Congratulations on the listing. I know you went up you. With, uh, against some big names and, and won it. And, you know, the research and making it clear to the client was obviously um, a big separator on that. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, okay. Eric. Thanks. Thanks.